Newly released body camera footage shows the chaos at a high school football game when police confiscated several automatic weapons from teenagers. It happened during the Groveport Madison at Canal Winchester football game Friday night. This is the second year in a row that violence has erupted while these two teams played. Last year, the game was played at Groveport Madison. Now, police say Friday night's incident started with an altercation near the visitor stands. Here's NBC4's Anna Hoffman with the breakdown of what took place there, Anna. Jennifer and Jared, police arrested four people on Friday night, a 16-year-old, two 17-year-olds, and an 18-year-old. I spoke with the Madison Township Police Chief, who tells me he was appalled, not just with what happened, but also how the four seemed to have zero sense of remorse. It's the third quarter of Friday's opening football game. Madison Township Police say they were alerted of an altercation near the visitor stands or Groveport Madison side. Police say they've removed two 17-year-olds from the area. They ask them if they have any weapons. Step back. Stand up. I don't well, have turn nothing. Around. Have I'm, turn around. We just relax. Do this. Okay. If you're We're clean, you're clean. Police pat one of them down and finds a fully loaded 9mm handgun in his pant leg. Minutes later, a 13, this time a 16 year old, is brought outside. Police go to pat him down. I'm going to pat you down real okay. fast. Turn around. Do You can see when the officer grabs the teen's bag, he takes off running. Police say they started to chase him. Ultimately, a Groveport Madison administrator and a bystander end up catching him and tackling him to the ground. As this is happening, the Madison Township officer searches the backpack and pulls out another fully loaded Glock. Police say the bag also contains slide covers, known as Glock switches, which allow the gun to be fully automatic. Five minutes later, police bring out the fourth suspect, 18-year-old Jared Bowers. Police find a fully loaded Glock pistol in his waistband. Madison Township Police Chief Gary York tells me after the teens were arrested, their behavior was as if they already knew the system. He says he was right. We have since learned two of the four suspects have prior charges. They thought it was quite uh, funny uh, in the back of the car as we were taking them uh, downtown. Uh, laughing, in fact, um, not taking it serious. You know, the community looks to us to provide safety, and we do our job as law enforcement and go out and arrest these people, and then here you go. They're let out, and, and there's no lesson learned. Mm -hmm. One of the 17-year-olds is charged with menacing and disorderly conduct. The other three are charged with carrying a concealed weapon and possession of a deadly weapon in a school zone. We will take a deeper dive into the suspect's criminal history tonight at 5. If you remember, a similar situation happened almost exactly a year ago when these two teams played in last year's opening game. Chief York says out of caution, the two districts and law enforcement have been meeting since July to discuss safety plans. He says he's glad they were prepared. Mm. Jared. Oh, Anna, thank you. The 18-year-old charged in the incident appeared in court today. NBC4's Matthew Herchik was in the courtroom this morning, and he has the latest on his appearance. 18-year-old Shara Bowers went before a judge earlier this morning. The teen facing multiple felony charges, including carrying a concealed weapon, as well as possessing a deadly weapon in a school safety zone. And Friday's incident marking the second time in as many years that arrests and guns have overshadowed the game between these same two schools. Shara Bowers appeared virtually in the Franklin County courtroom Monday morning. He, along with two 17-year-olds and a 16-year-old, were arrested Friday night in connection to an incident at the Groveport Madison Canal Winchester football game. According to a message sent out by Canal Winchester Schools, a fight broke out on the away sidelines just before 8 p.m. Officers with Madison Township Police removed the individuals. But according to court records, a Groveport Madison school administrator approached police and told an officer they believed Bowers had a gun on him. After searching multiple individuals, police found three guns, all modified to be fully automatic. Friday's incident marks the second time in as many years that arrests were made at a game between these two schools. Last year, 18-year-old James Keyes was arrested after he and a 15-year-old were accused of firing shots outside the stadium during the game. Fortunately, nobody was hurt in either incident. Bowers was given a $150,000 bond and is due back in court on August 29th. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Matthew Herchik, NBC4.
Now, following the incident, Groveport Madison is implementing new safety regulations at games. They're going to close stadium games, gates, I should say, at the end of the second quarter. No book bags will be allowed. There is no re-entry after leaving. Middle and elementary students will also need to be with an adult, and there is no loitering around the concession stands or parking lots. A spokesperson for Canal Winchester says they are working on additional safety plans.